So my poster was uh, is, a, is a case study, a case of um, the first reported acquired von Willebrand syndrome in a sort of post-allergenic transplant setting. Uh, this particular patient was quite troublesome and she, she really had some issues with bleeding that no one could explain that went on for months and months after her transplant. And it was only after multiple episodes of bleeding that something eventually clicked that actually this isn't just related to her low platelet count, this is something extra and uh, once we actually started investigating for a bleeding disorder it all the, the diagnosis was really quite straightforward. Acquired von Willebrand syndrome itself is quite a rare condition but it's never been reported post-allergeneic stem cell transplant. It's been reported post-autologous transplant mainly as it's a sign of relapse of disease whereas in this patient her disease in the in, at the initial outset wasn't associated with any bleeding uh, and uh, she doesn't have any sign of relapse and I found that her uh, von Willebrand syndrome came on at the same time as graft versus host disease and given that they are both antibody mediated conditions it's certainly possible that these two are related.